Yo, what is going on everyone? This is JP here with PSG, bringing y'all some more Madden NFL 20 on the PS4. It's our Indianapolis Colts fr franchise. So we're trying to get Andrew Luck a Super Bowl before the end of the season. So we're going to continue on here. Oh, we have a lot going on this week, so where do we start? Let's go with the X-Factor defensive end. Hey coach, any thoughts on how we handle J.J. Watt this week? Disregard J.J. Watt, I ain't scared of him. All right, I trust you, Coach. Winning is paramount. Beat J.J. Watt's Texans. Uh, that should be easy. All right. Let's see here. He wants a big signing bonus here. We're just going to go to, like, five, five millis. Thank you for staying, Costanzo. Um, we're going to go ahead and keep this guy, too, just to throw an offer out there. I might trade him away. This off season, uh, you know, whenever draft time comes, uh, got some scouting to do now. So let's see here. Oh, we have the first overall pick, which is huge. So we can take either one of these guys here. Uh, we will look at this guy just in case, and you as well, just in case we can't get you that corner and that corner. Now we have the twentieth pick. Ooh, Raekwon Davis. Let's look at that. The 23rd pick, which means we could get Travis Etienne and Raekwon Davis and upgrade at two spots in uh, one one draft. I think it was Travis Etienne I took last in my last uh, draft. And then I would love to take Anferny Jennings or Nick Coe, one of these two guys here. Uh, really want Anferny Jen Jennings. And then move him to right outside linebacker. And then we'll just let Shaquem Griffin be a rotational player. Uh, then we have the 23rd pick in round two. So what I like to do is uh, 32, 31, 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23. We'll look at him, but uh, we'll look at this guy too. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know if we'll take him. But that guy looks, he looks like a good pickup there. And we'll just kind of go down from there, which we could get some more draft picks as time goes on for the second round. Because I do want some more second round picks. Uh, we'll just auto upgrade both these guys here. And I do want to go look at Rocky Sin and see where he's at development wise to uh, unlocking that. 236 236 huh okay so before we jump into the video I'm gonna make a few adjustments here let me see here I want to see what gathers zone coverage is where's it at 65 zone and 68 man this man is our starting I mean he's got 88 hit power so I feel like I just Let's see here. What's he become if we move him to middle linebacker? I would like to keep him for now. If he goes up in middle linebacker, like overall goes up as middle linebacker from a 76, uh, then he's a 73. So maybe we should move him back. Definitely move him back to a strong safety. I was hoping that he would like a 78 or 79, and then I could trade him away and get more out of him. But um, thinking about making Quincy Wilson, let's see what his. See, he's got 70 zone, 78 man. He would be a really good. What's his hit power at? He probably doesn't have much hit power. 77 is not too bad. Uh, it's not really a scheme fit there, I don't believe. So this guy's got 69 zone, 73 man, 73 hit power. So I think we move Quincy Wilson. We'll edit this guy. Move him to strong safety. And we get a decent strong safety there. And I think he might be able to move up as far as, see, look at there, 76. It's not as, as a scheme fit. But it puts you Rocky Sin where he'll get more playing time now. And he's got pretty decent stats. Um, 
76 man 71 zone we play a lot of man coverage so we'll just see how he does there and then we'll take gathers and uh i'll trade him away real quick and we'll try to get a pick out of him so we just traded uh clayton gathers in our fourth overall defensive tackle to get the uh to get the browns uh first round draft pick so uh yeah we got a decent value out of him there um works out for us now we get to uh we have a decent uh, starting strong safety that has good zone and man ability and we let rocky sin get some more playing time uh i think it works out we have a decent fourth overall corner here and stroman uh he doesn't have bad stats so uh 70 man 77 zone 90 speed 73 play rec 72 press uh 72 catching i mean he's not bad i think he'll be good as the fourth fourth guy and uh we still have plenty of defensive ends here i uh, traded away a 60 something overall guy to bring him in so uh you know to get that first round pick so we'll just see where we go from there and with that we'll jump in to this next game play the moments uh, and we'll do this it is second and 16 on the 19 yard line just trying to get something going here gonna try to do a little halfback toss with henry and he gets about six yards there third and 10 25 yard line just looking to get this first down here oh we're gonna we're gonna hurry up here all right fourth and one on the 34 yard line here just gonna see if Nah uh, naheem hines can get us this first down and big rush there for 25 yards all right, first until on the 41 yard line here just trying to a little dump off the college juice check to get it to the 33 third and four on the 35 yard line just looking to get this first down here paris campbell with the catch over the middle to get us up to the 17 yard line andrew luck four of four so far on the game first until on the 17 yard line just looking to get some rushing yards here naheem hines down to the one all right first and goal on the one naheem hines guys here we're gonna let him run it in here for a touchdown on the fullback half fake flip First and 10 on the 20 yard line here. I'm watching Lamar Miller, but I'm also watching that tight end. Quincy Wilson making that stop there. Second and two on the 12 yard line. Watching Lamar Miller again. Oh, and he gashes just right up the middle there for a 12 yard touchdown. First and 10 on the 45 yard line is two minutes till halftime. They just want us to get some yards here. So I'm just looking for to get something going here. Oh, that is such bull. Second and 10 on the 45 yard line. Looking for something deep here. And T.Y. Hilton going to the end zone and we will dance on him. Let's look at that replay there. Just bam, right over in front of, I think that's Nicole, Ro uh, no, who is that? Bradley Roby? Yeah, it's Bradley Roby. He was going to play that ball, but he just couldn't get underneath it in time or above it. Look at the guys just chilling, talking like, yeah, we got this game. It's nothing. You know, it's the Texans. All right, first and goal on the eight. They are in the red zone. 55 seconds left. Ooh, was that Wilson? Quincy Wilson. Second and goal on the eight here. And Will Fuller stopped at the six. Third and goal on the six here. I am going to man up on the tight end. No. And Lamar Miller gets the touchdown there. Dang. 
Third and 10 on the 44-yard line. We got a touchdown before halftime. Big sack by Leonard there to get us the ball back on a three and out. Third and 17 on the 46-yard line. Just trying to get another stop here. And Bright nearly got that. About 15-yard gain. First and goal on the one-yard line. It's the start of the fourth quarter. Just trying to get this touchdown here. What the heck? Second and goal on the one. Just trying to get a touchdown here. Third and goal on the two-yard line. Just trying to get this touchdown here. And Naheem Hines with his second touchdown of the game. The game is on the line here. First and 10 on the 20-yard line. Three minutes to go. We have to get a stop. And a big sack by Shaquem Griffin. His second in two weeks. Second and 19 on the 11-yard line. A little over two and a half minutes to go. And that is a big, big fumble there to get him down to the one. Darius Leonard with the sack there. Make it third and 30. Third and 30 on the one-yard line. Can we get a safety here? And where's that ball at? Is it on the one? Dang. Fourth and 30 on the one here. I'm going straight home with Hooker. Nope, nope. Woo, and we get the stop there. Barely. It is first and 10 on the 19-yard line. I'm going to try to get us a touchdown here. Almost. We're going halfback dive. <laughs> Naheem Hines back there. It's on the one yard line. And his third of the game. Getting hype out there. So we go up by 10 points now. Fourth and 11 on the 24 yard line here. And they got the completion there. They are going for an onside kick here with 10 seconds left in the game. What the freak, man? He touched it twice. First and 10 on the 45 yard line. Only 10 seconds left in the game. They don't have to go all the way down the field. But that will be the end of the game as they couldn't get the timeout in time. So big game again. Uh, I don't think there's any turnovers. I don't know why though, but Derrick Henry is not having the games he was having. Uh, beforehand so we'll just have to see about that and maybe you know it's just because we're not controlling him for the moment but we still had uh, 72 rushing yards only because of Naeem Hines uh, we did better in every category but rushing go ahead here and they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week so for Charles Davis and our entire crew Wait for these announcers to shut up. Game, guess what? Charles and I will be here again. It's the NFL on EA Sports. So both QBs did pretty good. 128.3, 144.1, 28 to 30, 352. We were 19 and 25, uh, 348, 76, and he was 73. He had three touchdowns. I had two. Uh, longest was that 55 yarder. Rushing the ball. Um 
Lamar Miller, 12 carries, 64 yards, and a touchdown. Derrick Henry, 8 carries, 15 yards, 1.8 average. This is not going to do it. Neem Hines, though, 8 carries, 54 yards, and 3 touchdowns. Uh, Deshaun Watson had 5 carries, 35 yards. He had that one fumble. He had a fumble, though. So, uh, not too good on our part here. Uh, we had T.Y. Hilton, 6 catches, 149 yards, and 2 touchdowns. He had a breakout game there for us. Paris Campbell, 5 catches, 86 yards. Khalif Raymond, one catch, six yards. Neem Hines, one catch, 24 yards. Blocking, sacks allowed. Three by Matt Khalil, two by their uh, their left guard. And Derrick Henry gave up a sack as well for us. Solo tackles goes to Pierre Desir with six. Malik Cooker had five. Rocky Sin had five, so he uh, showing up there. Quincy Wilson also had five as well. Assist goes to Pierre Desir and Malik Cooker both with three. Total tackles goes to Pierre Desir with nine. Quincy Wilson had seven, so tackles for a loss. Had a bunch of guys here. He had one, two, three, four, four guys with the tackles for a loss. Two sacks with Darius Leonard, two by Marcus Hunt, one by J.J. Watt, one by Kamiko Terry, and one by Shaquem Griffin. So we had two, four, five, six total sacks there. No interceptions. Uh, pass deflections, they had uh, more guys with pass deflections than we did. Force fumbles was by Darius Leonard, which we've seen that. Uh, fumble recoveries, of course, there was none. Uh, so no safeties as well. Let's just look at the kick return. See how Nemines had one for 24 yards. Not too bad. Uh, and then punt returns. We had no punt returns in this game. So not a bad game overall. Uh, i got to figure out, though, why... Uh, why Henry is just not getting the yards because when I do him in my franchise and I sim with him, he just he eats that stuff up. We'll auto upgrade Shaquem Griffin because he may not be the starter next year. I just brought him in to help us this year. So let's see what they said about that X Factor defensive end. Nice win, coach. Watt did his best to shut us down, but it wasn't enough. Uh, 100 XP for entire offense line. That's great. Uh, we will. Sim to next week when we play the Broncos. We are undefeated right now. Yeah, six and zero oh to the season. We uh Chris Harris Jr. Uh, is James Pulley the QB for the Denver Broncos? Who knows? You know, could we see a return of the franchise man, the man, the myth, the legend, the first rookie QB to win a Super Bowl? All right, it's fourth and four on the twenty-nine yard line. We have to kick a field goal to get up here. Eight mile per hour wind tour, and we get it to go up three to nothing in the first quarter. Second and one, the 14 yard line in the red zone here. And Paris Campbell getting us up to the three yard line there. First and goal on the three yard line here, going strong toss to Naheem Hines here, who's been phenomenal. Go, and he will get it for another touchdown on the season, his seventh. Second and 10 on the 13 yard line. Looking to get a touchdown before the two minute. And Eric Ebron should have had that ball. Third and 10 on the 13 yard line. And T.Y. Hilton with a great catch to get us a first down. First and goal on the one yard line here. Going with our handy dandy PSG play. The halfback toss. And he couldn't get it because he got stuck. And God, he's still not doing anything. Second and goal on the two here. Going to motion T.Y. across. And Henry's going to get in for another touchdown on the season. He's not doing too hot these last few games, but we, maybe we gave him a little confidence there. First and 10 on the 10 yard line. They want us to try to get some points before half. I'm going. Nothing really going there. All right, second and four on the 15 yard line. Paris Campbell with a nice catch there up to the 38. We're going to go hurry up here. Go mountain wide cross. I, we're going to go timeout. I tried to throw it, but he pulled it back down for some reason. 
Second and 18 on the 30 yard line. And that will put us at halftime. Third and five on the 49 yard line. Trying to get a first down here. And Eric Ebron with a nice catch to get us that first down there. Second and one on the 12 here. Trying to get. Oh my God. I was throwing that to Paris Campbell. But Eric Ebron came back for it and got a touchdown for us. Look at that. Bam. Man, I was not aiming for Eric Ebron there, but I'm so glad he was there. They're going for the onside kick. Third and one on the 37 yard line. Just trying to get a first down here. And he will get that first first down. Third and eight on the 21 yard line. Just trying to get another first down here. And Khalif Raymond with a first down there. First and 10 on the 10. Trying to run this ball. Naheem Hines with a big run for seven yards. Second and three on the three here. Maybe Derrick Henry can get this in. That's a face mask. Come on. Third and three on the three here. And Derrick Henry will get his second touchdown of the game. Another big win, 31 to six. No turnovers this game, which is huge. Um, we need Derrick Henry to do more. Uh, he's falling off a little bit here since I'm not controlling him the whole game. Kind of sucks. So I'm thinking about switching him and Naheem Hines, letting Naheem Hines be the, the first the first string running back and uh, letting Derrick Henry be the backup. And then hopefully Derrick Henry can, can do something then. We're 7-0 on the season. Uh, let's just look at the Colts here. Andrew Luck, 102 rating, 24 37, 327 passing yards, one touchdown. Naheem Hines, 49 yards on 15 attempts, 3.2 for one touchdown. Derrick Henry, 12 carries, 23 yards, a little under two yards per carry. Not good. Two touchdowns. Not good at all, man. We got to gotta fix that. Uh, receiving the ball. T.Y. Hilton, 8 catches, 112 yards. Paris Campbell, 6 catches, 85 yards. Khalif Raymond, 5 catches, 56 yards. And the Eric Keeper on 3 catches, 28 yards. And the touchdown blocking sacks allowed. Braden Smith and Anthony Costanzo both gave up a sack. Let's see here. Sacks. 3 to Marcus Hunt. Big game for him. Uh, tackles for a loss. 2 to Taekwon Lewis and to uh, uh, Kamiko Turi. Uh, total tackles goes to Rocky Sin with 7. Quincy Wilson with five there. Assist two to Shaquem Griffin. Solo tackles goes to Rocky Sim with six himself. So big game there. No interceptions. Uh, no no pass plays. No, no forced fumbles. No blocks. No safeties. No blocks at all. Oh, they must have went for a two-point. Uh, kicking. Good punting. Kick return. Isaiah McKenzie won. Carry for 23 yards on a kick return. Paris Campbell. I guess he just uh, fair catched one. Punt return, Khalif Raymond, five punt returns, 23 yards, 4.6 average, long of 10. Not too good, but I can't do nothing if it's the CPU doing it, you know. So let's go back to the menu here. I'm going to be switching around Derek Henry and Naheem Hides. And see if maybe that helps us out. We can only hope, right? Important win. Yes, it is. Seven wins in seven weeks. Not a bad way to start the season. You guys have definitely established yourself as playoff front runners. Let's see if you can keep it up. Gain plus 100 legacy. Nice. X Factor cornerback. Coach, I know our offense didn't perform as well as we were hoping, but we got the win. And if you can score a victory against defense with Harris Jr., you've done something right. True that. All right, let's go ahead. Let me go ahead here. 
defense regressed to 75 since I, uh, and then let's go to specialist here. Yeah, we got to switch this third down running back crap. It should, I mean, I like Nahimans, but power back? No. Maybe that's part of our problem, why he's not getting the carries he deserves. So let's go into the depth chart here. Where's it at? Let's go to the depth chart. Let's go power half back. 84, and you got him as the backup. Come on. And then, if anything, we'll put Kyle's juice check as the second one. Third down running back, once again, even though he's not that good as third down running back, we are going to put him as the number the number one there. Actually, you know what? For power halfback, I meant the third down running back. Maybe it should be Naheem Hines. Yeah, we'll keep Naheem Hines in there on third Actually, you know, no. Let's give Derrick Henry the opportunities here. See if he can prove himself in this next week. Um, go ahead and sim forward to week number nine against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Um, we have a few players ready to negotiate and stuff, but we'll do that in the next video. So if you don't mind, guys, if you enjoyed the video, smash that like button. Hit subscribe if you're new. Until next time, guys, this is JP with PSG saying peace out and have a wonderful day.